YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new video. It's your boy Roxy. Today we're gonna be going to see if putting in a higher grade fuel really makes a difference in the Hemi. So for those of you that are new to the channel, normally what I put in right now is 87, but I've been hearing things like if you put in 89 or uh, you put in like 93, whatever, it can increase the performance of the car. Um, really, I don't know if it's gonna increase performance all that much, but I am interested to see how the range does. So right now we only have 23 miles. So like, let's hope we could even make it to the gas station. Um, but typically what I notice whenever I fill up all the way with 87 is I only get like 273 miles. Um, so yeah, hopefully we can get a little bit more here today, guys. We'll see. Before this video really gets started, I want you to go in the comments right now and I want you to comment down below. Uh, what do you typically watch YouTube on? Do you usually watch it on your phone or do you watch it on a laptop? interested to know that um, just because I know like some of the features are a little bit different if you're watching on your phone versus if you're watching on a laptop so let me know another thing is I don't know guys I'm thinking about taking a break from posting shorts here on YouTube um, I don't know are, are you guys in, like do y'all like this shorts a lot or uh, do y'all just perform the long-form video content I know the shorts are uh, pretty cool, pretty cool way of like reaching a new audience and stuff, but um, I could probably put that more, uh, that energy into, I guess, creating like better long form videos that I've even been hearing things that, you know, shorts actually can hurt you in the long run of like messing up your views and stuff. So let me know guys, uh, if, if y'all are like, you know, not too big or like feel like y'all missing out that much of the shorts and I'll just put a lot of energy into focusing on like producing more videos, I guess here for you guys but yeah interested to see what you guys say about that as you can see we're finally getting some rain here bro after like a whole summer of li living in the sahara desert finally decides to rain and it's like pouring down so uh that's even another video idea guys let me know if y'all want to see a pov drive in the rain see what damage we could do out here probably gonna go fill up here at costco this could probably be the cheapest place to get uh to get the higher octane. Anywhere else, it's uh, gonna be ridiculous. If y'all can see over there, unleaded. It's looking like it's 339. So hopefully we can see that number for the premium gas here at Costco. But nothing too crazy. Also, I have a video coming out either today or the next couple of days. It's gonna be a Shine Armor review. So if y'all know Shine Armor, they're a like, detailing company. Uh, they were kind enough to send out a package, so uh, I was able to try one of their products and stuff. And I'm gonna be making my review about it. So stay tuned for that. Interested to work with more companies here in the future. So if y'all want, or any companies out there watching this, if y'all like, I guess want a review of your product, an honest review, be sure to just shoot me a DM and we can talk about it. So yeah, now driving the Hemi bro in the rain isn't too bad. You don't have to really worry about, you know, getting sideways or anything like that. I feel like if I had a scat, scat brakes traction so easily, you probably just have to like baby the throttle. But here I'm, I'm not flooring it down. I'm still, you know, tapping it lightly, but you know, I'm not breaking traction or anything like that. Plus I have traction control on, we're just cruising in normal mode. All these puddles. Yeah, just cruising a normal, eco, eco-friendly. You know, trying to save the little guys that we do have, which is only 20 miles right now. But definitely excited though. Even though it's raining right now, this is gonna bring in some cold fronts. So excited for the cooler weather, man. Like when I'm telling you, like I was out here, I was out here cooking this summer, man between being in the Philippines and then coming back to Houston. Houston was definitely hotter, bro. Like, oh my gosh. So, now the rain is much needed. One thing I am excited for, I think that the idle is gonna sound a lot different, especially on like a higher octane, just because it's, uh, you know, barely burning fuel a little bit differently. I don't know, we may get like a slight little horsepower difference, nothing too drastic. It's not like I'm out here running E85, you know, straight corn, but you know, I'll see, I'll see. If it wasn't raining, I would definitely do some pulls out here just so we can uh, see what's going on. But I don't feel like wrapping around a tree today or ending up on the side of side of the road. So we're not gonna, not gonna risk that today. 
just probably going to listen to the idol and then I just see like how it responds. Shouldn't be too crazy, but yeah, we'll see. I've actually been considering getting one of those like uh, pedal commanders or like response throttle mechanisms. Um, I think that's actually the first thing I need to get though is going to definitely need to be that taser. So if anyone's selling a taser, bro, let me know. Let me know. If y'all know where I can find one for like a reasonable price, it'd be pretty sweet. And they're probably going to my job. Wild. Wild. Good thing I don't go to work till four. Actually, it'll probably be a good time to go to work right now because when it rains, there's not a lot of people that go to the ER. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. There's a charger over there, fellow Moparian, out here in the wild. For all my other five sevens out there, let me know what fuel y'all are using right now. I think a couple of you guys said that you use like the premium, but I know a lot of y'all are following the uh, owner's manual. So the owner manual specifies like the minimum that you can use is 87. And a lot of people just stick to that. Uh, but like if you read like a bunch of like Reddit posts and things, they say you're supposed to go for the higher fuel because if you use 87, eventually over time, you'll develop this thing called the Hemi Tick, uh, which I haven't had on my vehicle yet. And I've been using 87 for like the past eight months. So... We'll see. And I think the person that had it before me also used 87. I mean, don't quote me. I don't know. I wasn't with him the whole time. But um, yeah, no, it's been, running, it's been running pretty good, pretty fine. Only thing that, you know, kind of stinks is the uh, range you get with 87. So you're at the pump a lot more frequently. So, I mean, we'll see. If I, if I can, you know, fork over a couple more dollars and increase my range, you know, why not? Why not go for the higher octane? Oh, man. But no, how's everyone been, bro? I feel like it's been five days since I last dropped my last video, bro. How's everybody been? Everyone's still hanging in there? Chilling, doing good. Any uh, Anybody have anything new done to their car? Let me know in the comments down below. I don't know if you guys seen, but those new Mustangs have come out. So they look pretty good. I'm actually a fan of like the, uh, the new tail light design and stuff. So looks pretty sick man but uh i was hearing something too about you know performance issues and you know some recalls here and there so you know typical ford us mustang or us as Bopar people we don't have to know we're about that type of stuff even <laughs> jk i know dodge has their own fleet of problems but no nah, it's just funny it's just funny but no they do look sick uh the dark horse i'm still a big fan of i don't know if i'll get one this time around probably like later in the future but we'll see man i don't know how long this stretch is going to be that ford you know is still producing mustangs and uh, maintaining their uh, gas vehicles but we'll see perfect typically bro the costcos are like always filled up stuff you have to usually wait but now we came at a good time so about to get in here and here's the moment of truth man we're about to see if it really makes a difference So, you know, something I have to prepare myself for. This number is definitely going to be higher than what I'm used to. So, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. Probably like 80s, I'm guessing. 349, six times 16. No, not 80s. Maybe like a little bit over, like between like that 50 and 70 range. More likely closer to the 70 number, but we'll see. All right, moment of truth. First startup. Sounds pretty normal. No, so surprising enough, the range is still in like that same range what I'm used to, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna reset everything. I know that like goes into the calculation as well. So we'll reset that and then we'll reset our fuel economy. And let's see what happens as we start to drive. Bro was not gonna wait. He said he has places to be. No 
No, so far, I don't know if I'm just used to the sounds of the car, but I don't notice anything all that different so far, man. Pretty the same, so I don't know. You may want to save your money, bro, but we'll see. Like I said, I really can't even open it up. I'm trying to see if I smell anything. Nah. Can't really, I can't really open it up because all the rain and stuff like that, but... Yeah, no, we are driving in eco mode again, so the valves are not open. Probably open them once we get into here. I just don't want to puddle. I just don't want that uh, traction to come off, and then we're like sliding everywhere. Okay, cool. I'll pull like right over here so we can hear the idle of the car. Okay, so this is gonna be the first remote start on the 93. Let's hear it. Alrighty guys, so guess where we are again after two days back at the gas station. So my review with this uh, fuel, I don't think it's worth it bro for the 5.7 Hemi. I do pretty good with uh, the low grade. I'm probably gonna try the 89 and just see how that goes and you know i'm not gonna make a video for that right now probably you know in the future but yeah i don't see the point of spending you know more money to get either the same or in this case it was like a little bit less because typically i could go like three to four days without a fill up so yeah after two days i'm already back to 44 miles really wasn't pushing it like crazy throughout my typical range which is 16 i don't you know take highways and stuff that much so I don't know guys you may want to reconsider that um like i said i haven't had any performance issues really with the 87 89 is probably a better grade for this engine but no let me know what you guys think in the comments down below interested again let me know what you fill up with what range do y'all typically get on your 5.7 hemi um until next time guys i'll catch you in the next video peace